It's the championship chase. <laughs> number one team, your Georgia Bulldogs, facing off against number three, TCU Horned Frogs. We've already won being here, uh, and all the pressure's on the dogs. Fans are already cheering on the dogs from Athens. And we've made the 2,000 mile trip to SoFi Stadium. Less than two hours to kick off, the fans are ready. I've been a fan all my life, and just awesome to go to a second game. Second national championship. <laughs> Go Dogs! <laughs> a lot of barking going on right oh, now. Yeah, a whole lot of energy. Yeah, a lot of energy right now <laughs> because we're less than two hours away, of okay. course, from kickoff. Your Georgia Bulldogs taking on the Texas Christian University Horned Frogs to defend their national championship. Oh, yeah, a whole lot of excitement building in Dog Nation, yeah. even though. UGA won it last year. It doesn't make anyone less nervous. Mm -mm. And we have live team coverage from watch parties across the metro and from the stadium on the West Coast. And that's actually where we're going to go first with 11 Alive Maria Martin. She's inside SoFi Stadium just outside of Los Angeles. And Maria, the teams are in the building and we are almost ready to go. Yeah, guys, welcome to the biggest stage in college football, the national championship, which will be going down here at SoFi Stadium. TCU is trying to win their first title since 1938, and the Dogs, they're trying to go back to back. Tonight, we are going to witness two Heisman Trophy finalist quarterbacks who were once backups, and now tonight, they are each playing in their final collegiate game. Regardless if I was, you know, had years left or, you know, I don't, but. It, it's national championship. It's what we we dream about when we're kids. Uh, so I don't I don't think really me leaving has anything to do with how hard I'm preparing. Whether he's playing a great game or maybe not having his best game, when it when it matters, when it counts, he's he's delivered time and time again. So we just got to do that do that one more time. Both of them have been unrelentless at their craft and worked so hard to get to this moment. Max Duggan, he announced that he was declaring for the NFL draft before Christmas. Stetson Bennett, on the other hand, he hasn't yet decided what he's going to do. Likely will go to the NFL tonight, regardless, will be his final game in a Georgia Bulldogs uniform. He said, all I want to do is focus on this moment. Everyone's excited, and I'm so glad to be here. All right, and everyone is excited to see Georgia back in that top spot tonight, Ron. That's right, they want them to win. Of course they want them to win. Tracy Amy Pierre joins us now live from Stegman College on UGA's campus where the students will gather to watch the game. So, Tracy, what is the energy like there right now? Well, the energy here is pretty intense. Over the last hour, about a thousand students have shown up here so far at Stegman Coliseum. The line wraps all the way around. <laughs> As you can see, they're very excited. Of course, the doors don't open for another 30 minutes, but they tell me if they can't be over in LA, this is the next best thing. Go dogs! Seek them! Georgia fans in Athens spent Monday gearing up to watch the college football national championship. Athens is electric today. We're excited. We're ready for the game tonight. Today, there's a different vibe. All the classes I've gone to today, the teachers made sure to let us out early. From students to alumni, all wearing their red and black. I'm wearing my Fresh Box Georgia sweatshirt and my Beat TCU button. And when asked their predictions. I think we're going to cover, we're going to win by 17, and we're going to storm the streets right after. Last year we won the Natty, so let's make it another one. Now, lots and lots of excited fans, of course, ready for the game to start. Of course, the doors here will open in about 30 minutes, giving all of these fans one hour until cookoff. Back to you. All right, thank you so much, Tracy. A whole lot of energy over at the Coliseum. A lot of energy right now. <laughs> and it's actually not the only place to watch that game tonight. Yeah, there's lots of places to watch. Fans on both sides are right now expected to be packing those restaurants and sports bars. And the bars are open less than an hour ago. 11 Alive's Joe Ripley has been there all afternoon getting reaction from fans. 
here at Live at the Battery, they're expecting more than 1,500 people to watch the game on over 70 television screens, hoping the dogs can go back to back. I don't have to worry about nothing. Our boys are going to bring home another championship. Deanna King oozes confidence. There's no doubt in her mind the dogs can bring home back to back national titles. And that's just going to solidify everything that we already know that um, the heart and soul of college football starts in Georgia. It's dogs versus frogs. Georgia. Go dogs versus TCU. Riff, Ram, Bazoo, Lickety, Lickety, Zoo, Zoo, Who, Wah, Wah, Who, Give them hell, TCU. <laughs> Fan gear is flying off the shelves here at the College Station Sports Store. The anticipation for both teams, TCU fan Jason Rinaldi says, is at an all-time high for the national championship. TCU is for real. So that what they have to do, though, is they have to play mistake-free football. All the pressure is on Georgia right now to repeat. TCU has to go in there and they have to play a simple game, do what they did all year, but be mistake-free. It's a game sure to excite Frog. <laughs> And dog fans alike. In Cobb County, Joe Ripley, 11 Alive News. All right, and you can count on 11 Alive as your place to go for coverage of UGA's championship chase. Be sure to text UGA to 404-885-7600 for updates on the dogs. And if the dogs win, we will have live coverage right here on 11 Alive. All right.